Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this another day wherein I have a hamster on my lap. Yes, indeed. It's a little boogle. Aim toward the camera, boogle. She's, well, she's a hamster. She's squished down low because as a rodent, you know, as a prey animal, they get down to the ground as close as they can so they can be hidden. But she's a cutie. Hello, you. She has been very active this morning. And she is just an absolute cutie, though she bites. You know, but she only bites when she's irritated or unhappy. She doesn't just bite to bite. So she's a cutie. So I'm gonna put her back in her cage so that she doesn't freak out too badly. She's supersonic and she freaks out. So here we go, little one. Into your cage, come on, feet on the ground. There we go. She's a sweetheart. I love all hamsters. They're small and fuzzy and warm and alive. And yeah, I'm centered. I just have to make sure. I talked about this yesterday. See how that's like silver in the little play button reflection, but it's the top of the hat. And yesterday, when I talked about this, I said, you see, it's blue and it shines blue. I think it just shines silver when it's dark outside because it's daylight savings now. So even though my clock says it's 7.02 a.m. to the rest of the world, it's 6.02 a.m. Spring forward, fall back. So, Or spring ahead, fall back. In fact, somebody wrote a, an interesting uh, horror story about that once. It was about a serial killer to keep things in, you know, in, in the universe working properly. Every spring, he had to take a head, and every fall, a back. So every every time the, the clocks changed, somebody ended up bound up and then, well, lost a head or lost all the skin on their back, just to make sure the universe run properly. Yeah, good thing I'm not a serial killer. Good. Well, I was going to say good thing I don't know any serial killers, but we don't know. We don't know people. And in fact, somebody did this goofy thing on Facebook. It says, fun fact, in your life, you've walked past 36 murderers. And it says, it's a fun fact because they did not kill you. It's probably true. In fact, there's probably situations where if it had been slightly different, you'd be dead just because the person who you're with is a ticking time bomb. Thumbs up for that. I have absolutely nothing in my mind to talk about today. I am thoroughly blank, completely and 100%. It's rough. <laughs> Yesterday, I was having trouble staying awake, of course. But then I hit the afternoon and I had uploaded my game video like 4 o'clock. Suddenly everything was ticking along time-wise. And then I had from 4 o'clock onward to like not do anything but I wanted to do a game video but then at about six o'clock I'm looking at the clock while I'm just playing games here and there and thinking to myself you know I don't always have to be on I can take time just to play some games and 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 relax for the evening I don't have to record a video do I I've done four videos to for today maybe I can just relax for a while so last night I didn't record a game and then it was 11 o'clock at night suddenly I looked at the clock and realized oh wow it is 11 o'clock and it's spring forward so really it's 12:30. so I need to get to bed because clock's got to go forward and I got to get up an hour early so went to bed and now I'm awake and I have nothing in my mind my brain is blank my mind completely empty I'm trying to think of various things that I would be talking about, but I can't. I'm empty-headed and blank. So I guess it's a very, very short vlog today, isn't it, if I'm going to close it off now? Is there nothing that's happened in my life? Am I really going to have to close this off at five minutes? I've talked to my therapist. I came back. I went and paid for my storage unit yesterday. I can't think of anything that's been going on in my life or happening. I know there's stuff that's important that's happening in life. I mean, there's politics in the United States. 
and this this country is just insane most of the country most of the united states now they have discovered is at third world status or more or worse it's just we are there's the few people that have money and then the rest of the country is ravaged and right now the people in power are just siphoning up as much of the money that's left upward to the rich leaving our already ravaged country to get even worse thumbs up if only we had you know two parties of government where one party actually was looking to the future instead of destroying the social safety net and trying to make a profit and selling the country off and power and power and party over country it'd be nice if we actually had a a political power in power that was out to help people instead of self-serving and screw the rest of the country as long as they got theirs be nice wouldn't it oh well I've often wondered if I had the money would I move to another country yeah I actually would become an expatriate I believe one of those who's given up because I don't see any real hope for this country right now as much as I'd like to I the people in power are obvious about it making naked power grabs and for whatever reason, there's the people that are their po solid power base that are willing to go, oh yeah, you know what would really piss the lib libtards off? If I take this knife and I stab myself, look at this, I'm bleeding to death now, huh? Boy, that really pisses you libs off, doesn't it? We're left going, holy smokes. The only thing that irritates us about the situation is watching you continuously hurt yourself and vote against your self-interest and drag the rest of us down with you. Past that, we don't care. Go off. Live like a caveman. That's fine. Just don't take the rest of us down with you. You know, going off and living like a, a savage is fine. You know, just go off and do that on your own. That's my political views. But then if you've ever listened to my vlog, you already know my political views. I am left-leaning. But then the political discourse in the United States is such that what we look at as the right, the r entire rest of the world looks at as far, far, far right. What we look upon as left-leaning is to the rest of the world still way conservative. We don't have a left-leaning party in the United States. There are the far-right wackos. There's what we call the center, which is far, far right. And then there's the left, which is not as far right as everybody else. We don't have anything left of the left in this country. And it's obvious when the, con the government itself continues dismantling all unions and the ability for citizens to actually stand up for themselves against business can't do that business is all important so gotta take that away hmm I don't know where I'd move I mean you have to be a, a responsible citizen if you're going to become a citizen I don't know what to do is like just a non-americans i mean they're still and when you're an expat you're still an american citizen you've just given up and left i mean what can i do to fix the situation i'm one guy even trying to work on a local level with the issues that i have i could maybe run for um, a mild office where i don't have to do anything past that I don't have the energy or the physical ability to do anything I can barely take care of myself and do YouTube videos I couldn't add a layer of working for government on top of that good golly miss Molly I barely survive as it is I am broken and busted <laughs> I, I don't think I could manage that so I just look at my country in despair thumbs up I got to watch it growing up, 
when Reagan and the other Republicans came into power on the wave of the me generation of greed is good, where they started dismantling the social safety net and doing that whole trickle down economics, but trickle down doesn't work. You pour a lot of water into the rich, they just get bigger and bigger buckets and nothing trickles down. Even the people that made the stuff, as they've come out and said, now they have said, we knew it was a scam. We just wanted to get our stuff through. And so they still trot it out today, even though it doesn't work. So it's great. Yeah, 82% of the world's wealth went to the richest 1%. And as they say, there's the myth of hard work will give you success. Whereas the people that are working hardest are the ones that are working for the rich. And are the rich working hard? Well, most of them have were born rich. It's that standard, they were born on third base and they think they hit a triple. Whereas the rest of us, yeah, hard work. Where's that gonna get you? Maybe maybe you're not gonna die too early thumbs up for that yeah i know i i didn't have anything to talk about and then i started talking about politics don't get me started about talking about gun control either because is it i'm i'm an american as well i was born into this lunatic violence loving society as well I still think that yeah people should have guns they shouldn't have military weaponry that sort of stuff should be abolished I don't mind if people have guns just number one don't think getting a gun makes you safe because getting a gun primarily the people that get shot with guns are the people that own the guns Either you shoot yourself accidentally, or you shoot a family member, or a family member shoots you, or if someone breaks into your house, you think you're going to be clever, they take your gun away, and then they shoot you. Owning a gun doesn't make you safe. In fact, it largely increases the odds of you dying by gun. But, as stated, I, I still don't think people should not have guns. I just think that we should make it so that not everybody and their brother can just go down to Walmart and buy a gun. I mean, we regulate everything. We regulate trucks. We regulate cars. We regulate how you make and sell hamburgers. We make and regulate how you walk down the street. Guns aren't just this miraculous thing that shouldn't be non-regulated. Treat it just like everything else. Good Lord gun control not gun abolition we just don't want people being shot to death for no reason yeah i'm liberal i don't want people shot in the face <sighs> bingo if that makes me a liberal i'm a liberal i don't want people shot in the face when they shouldn't be shot in the face i am an unabashed liberal because take a look at everything we have in society right now that you like weekends eight hour work days holidays off all of these things are because liberals fought for it yeah i'm proud of the liberal heritage we wouldn't have an american society now we'd have even worse wage slaves if we hadn't gotten rid of things like unions and all that we probably wouldn't be in the bad stage we're in thumbs up. Politics can get you talking about just about anything, even when you think you don't have anything to talk about, can't you? That doesn't even make sense. That wasn't English. My sincere apologies. And of course, and it's true, there is rarely a need to rush. Just take time to think before you make a decision. Remember, when you are in a bad state, you cannot think clearly. Stop. Wait. Do not make decisions that can affect your life when you're not able to think clearly. Just take time to wait and think. Thumbs up. Now, I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people. It is a range because even though I count in American Sign Language on the fingers of my left hand, I still get lost. Go through and watch my videos. I lose track of where I am all the time. And... If I mispronounce your username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. I am not good at names. I'm better than most, but not wonderful. And of course, 
there's another thing I usually say. What the hell is that? Oh yes, I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to just thank you for having left a comment. I'm going to read the comments afterward. Thumbs up everyone. Answer as many as I can. Thank you for having left a comment. That's what is important. Whether it's a good comment, bad comment, a different comment, you get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. Thank you very, very much. So jumping to my Chrome install, which is where I have all of my tabs opened up, we have Ariel Da Silva. I sure hope I'm close. Thank you very, very much. Itachi the Deku Scrub, <laughs> son of a gun. Tundra Keeper, thank you very, very much. Okrasm. I sure hope we, that was close. That was in English. I sure hope that was close. There, that's better. Thank you very much. And Revy Tex, greatly appreciated. Samon VCP, thank you very, very much. Crystal Pepsi, son of a gun. And Ryan L. Zinga, thank you very, very much. Much, not muff. Kathy Kitzkat, thank you very, very much. And The Whack, greatly appreciated. Crimson Fear, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Smoke with an underscore afterward, thank you. Cheap Game Deals, thank you very, very much. Mario Daniel Ar 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 Ario, ooh, I'm not even close, but thank you very, very much. Chris Keller, thank you, greatly appreciated. Somebody is asking for a, a shout out and I wanna make sure I get it, but I, I have a feeling I'm not going to. I'm gonna try though. Uh, so somebody's shooting for one and if I miss it, I'm gonna try and catch it anyway. But J-Rock Vampire, thank you very, very much. I'm, where am I? What did I do? I've shot way past everything. I'm sorry. Bosniak Gamer 050. I don't know what the hell I did. I shot past everything. That was weird. And Sretton Rossick, greatly appreciated. Oh, it's because I was looking for that name. Tor Ivar Saturnes. Thank you very much, and I hope I'm close. Greatly appreciated. And then we have Joaquim Lothric, greatly appreciated. Matthew Varga. Greatly appreciated. Thumbs up and thank you. Jerry Jacobs, greatly appreciated. Jesus de los Jesus Jesusa de los Santos. There we go. <laughs> thank you very, very much. And Otaco Page, thank you very, very much. And then last but not least, Furor Farquad. Heck of a name, son of a gun, and thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. Each and every one of you, you get me out of my head into the world as stated and dealing with real people thank you very very much somebody asked in the comments they were saying what's with the hands ah, bloody saliva and then dental adhesive if you've ever seen like wads of spit in my mouth my sincere apologies this is bloody dental adhesives and all that they said what was what's with the hands i talk with my hands i'm i i must be italian i talk with my hands always have always will i don't mind it's exercise too. Thumbs up for that. And then there was like somebody asked for a shout out for like donut somebody and I can't find it and I'm very, very sorry. I, I I wish I could find it. So whoever asked for that, if I can find it later on, I'll try and do that shout out. My sincere apologies. But and, and thank you very much. And if you could check out my links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google Plus. If you could check those out, if you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. However, if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest, so thank you very much. And if you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation for my existence. If you could subscribe to the channel, that too would be cool. But I would understand if you don't want to. My personality has rubbed people wrong most of my life. So if you don't like my videos, you don't want to subscribe, I do understand. But if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Thumbs up for that. Well, shucks, I don't have time to talk about the Humble Bundle thing again. We're Humble Bundle. I'm partnered with Humble Bundle. Check out the link down there. If you go and buy things, you can kick back money my direction. They send money to charity. They got all sorts of bundles. It's good stuff. I buy the bundles myself. I spend money. I, I'm subscribed to the Humble Bundle monthly. So check it out. It's good stuff. You can send money to charity. You can send money to me. And that's awesome right there. So check it out. It's a good thing. I got a reaction video coming up. Got a game video coming up. Hopefully, if I can stay awake, a video from a game channel. Thumbs up. 
So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing.